What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy and welcome back to another pack opening video and today we're going to be opening up the new Lucario GX box that recently came out. Uh, I've actually had this box for I think it's like a week now but I've been traveling a lot and just hadn't found the time to actually sit down and you know record this opening for you guys but it does feature the new Lucario GX. Uh, I actually thought we were going to get this in Forbidden Light but I guess it's just going to be a promo instead but hey I am cool with that. The card seems pretty neat so... Let's see what all we get in here. Of course, we have the start of the show, the Lucario GX promo, but it looks like we also get four booster packs. Uh, looks like there's a bit of an old one, Ancient Origins, in there, but the other ones are pretty fairly recent sets. That's pretty cool. Uh, beyond that, I think we just get the code card and the oversized promo, and that should be it. But let's uh, crack this thing open and see uh, you know, what we can get out of this box here. Ready. Yep, just as I expected. You know, nothing else too crazy here. I don't even think we get a coin or anything like that, but that's fine with me. Here we have a code card. I'm gonna set that one aside that way we that way we can uh, you know use that Lucario online in PTCGO. I've seen a lot of people have already been you know busy testing out this card. I have actually not had much time to pay attention to it just yet. I was trying to concentrate on the recent uh, Charlotte regionals that just happened. Uh, if you guys want to see my tournament report from that region, I will have a link to that as well. So go check that out if you have not yet already done so. But anyways, we have the promo card. We're just going to set that one aside. But here's the regular size Lucario GX. Definitely a pretty cool looking card. I love Lucario, one of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. I know it's a kind of a cliche favorite to have. Everyone seems to like Lucario, but I can't help it. He's, he's kind of cool. But uh, Lucario GX, actually a card that's been having some hype. Uh, you know, partially for its aura strike attack for a single fighting energy, if you evolve from Riolu this turn, you do 30 plus 90 more, so you can easily knock out Lucario GX. Also has this crazy move, Cantakerous Beatdown GX. It's basically just a reprint of the GX move that Taurus GX had, which is pretty nice because it was kind of a half-decent GX, so... Uh, anything that can easily knock out Zorark GX is going to be a card worth talking about. So Lucario definitely seems like it has some potential. Like I said, I haven't personally messed around with the card too much yet, but I definitely expect it to be uh, pretty decent. So for the packs that we get in this box, like I said, it looks like they gave us an old one, Ancient Origins. And then the next, uh, I guess, three most recent Sun and Moon sets. So of course, Ultra Prism, which recently came out, Crimson Invasion, and Burning Shadows. So let's actually... Uh, no, let's work from oldest to newest, I think. Get this Ancient Origins pack out the way. It's actually not too much in it. I really think we could use here. Um, Ancient Origins was kind of a small set. And, uh, you know, I think there's like Giratina EX, Vespaquin, but nothing too crazy in the set from what I can remember just off the top of my head. So let's see what we can get here. So here we have a Magikarp. We had Unknown, actually kind of a decent card, Ball Toy, Malamar, Combi, Porygon 2, Paint Roller, Gloom, Reverse Oddish, very nice. Unfortunately, uh, you know, Vile Plume has not been that good ever since Forest of Giant Plants got banned. So I uh, don't know how much use this Oddish will get put to use, but uh, hey, I guess it's okay to have. And a Hollow Verizian. Okay, so actually not a bad card to get you know not the best card by any means but better than a regular uh rare so we'll take it but you know if we're gonna pull any ultra rares or anything i prefer to save those you know of course for our sun and moon era packs so next up we have burning shadows actually a ton of great stuff that we could get from this set of course guard of our gx was kind of the big pokemon i think that came out of the set but there's all sorts of other good stuff too we had uh, uh what was it full art guzmo was in the set for ace arola so no shortage of good cards that were in this set. So I think was the card trick like this for the Sun Moon sets. Let's see. All right. So here we have ourselves a Magikarp, a Lone Rotata, Wimpod. Oh, yep. Glycepod GX is in the set. Another good card we could potentially get. Togedemaru, Sock, Lightning Energy, Whirlipede, Wobbuffet, Electric. Reverse Bruxish, Bru Bruxish, kind of a hard name to pronounce there, I apologize guys, is a rare, so I guess that's kind of half decent. And our rare is a Tangrowth. 
So none of the cool cards I was just mentioning, uh, not a Gardevoir GX or a Polar Guzma, but <laughs> uh, you know, not every pack can be amazing. So that's fine. Uh, you know, we still have Crimson Invasion and Ultra Prism. If we're going to pull Ultra Rares, I actually probably prefer from Ultra Prism because I'm still actually missing uh, a good amount of Ultra Rares and like Secret Rares from the set. So, but also for Crimson Invasion as well, I guess I didn't buy nearly as much Crimson Invasion as I did from other sets. So definitely still good chunk of playable cards that I could still pull from this pack. So here we have ourselves a Shellis, Bunnelby, Magikarp, Chimeco, Pikachu, Grass Energy, Diggersby, Peking Red Card, uh, Grumpig, a Lone Grappler, and a Rare Octillery. So Kind of striking out in this box so far, no Ultra Rares or anything like that. Of course we did pull the Hollow Verizian, but you know, that's that's not why we bought the box. Of course we bought it for Lucario, but we want to get something else good, uh, ideally. And we have one pack left, so hopefully we can close out this box opening with uh, you know something a little cooler than a rare Octillery. <laughs> so let's see. Of course, Full Art Cynthia is kind of the big Ultra Rare. I think most people are trying to pull out of this set, so if I can get one of those, would not complain. There's still a bunch of other good GXs like Dawnwings Necrozma, or pff, not Dawnwings, I'm sorry, uh, Duskmane Necrozma, you know, Glaceon GX, all sorts of uh, other decent pulls. So let's see what we can get here. We have ourselves a Murkrow, Snover, Piplup, Cherubi, Young Goose, Fighting Energy, Skuntink, Perugly, Yanmega, Nice, Reverse Hollow Empoleon, which is actually one of the better rares uh, that came out of the set. And actually, the card is kind of miscut. If you see at the bottom there, you know, it barely has any yellow, whereas at the top it has a ton. So, actually, kind of a cool reverse to get. I'm actually pretty happy with that. <laughs> and uh, we got a Dawn Wings Necrozma. So, we did finish with an Ultra Rare. I think it's hilarious, too. I was like, not Dawn Wings Necrozma. I meant this other uh, good GX instead of this. So, <laughs> uh, And honestly, guys, I don't think Dawn Wings Necrozma is that bad of a card. I have actually uh, uh, been getting a little bit of attention for the Silvalli GX Dawn Wings Necrozma GX I posted online not too long ago. So, it's kind of fitting. I guess I pull one of these. So, hey, at least we pulled a GX uh, to close out the opening with. I was kind of worried we were just going to pull another junky uh normal rare so happy to close uh close it out with this better than palkia gx so it could have been worse <laughs> so just to do a quick little re recap i think probably the best pulls of the box definitely the full art dawn wings like i just mentioned the reverse empoleon just in general that last pack was pretty great and then i guess verizian is an okay pull as well uh it's our only hollow rare of the the box that's kind of cool uh, but yeah, guys, that's gonna pretty much be it for this one. Uh, I'm gonna try to do you know, some more in-depth videos about Lucario uh, in the future soon, so try to be out on the lookout for those at some point. But as usual, guys, feel free to like and subscribe, and if you can support this channel by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg, or by picking up something from our online store at rarecandytcg, it would mean a lot, and it helps go a long way to ensuring I can keep doing these opening videos whenever these new products uh, come out. But with that, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you for the next one.